any tools that you can share with us, like mental health tips for our audience? Um, well, I definitely think meditation is a huge part of, of something that helps. I know that's not nothing new, um, but that certainly helps, you know, energetically breathing is huge. And then I also am a big fan of, uh, mantras. So creating like a sentence mantra for yourself that you can, um, like that can ruminate in your brain. So when you're having like a moment of like uncomfortableness, you know, or whatever that is, you can be like, um, this is uh, like, I feel great. I feel great. This is temporary. Um, or, uh, you know, love and abundance flows to me, you know, in every way now. And just like, and just by saying it over and over and over and like creating an, I am statement in a positive way. Um, and by positive, I mean like something that makes you feel good, whatever that is. I, I have found that to be extremely helpful to create mantras for yourself that you can have and like write them down. And so, you know, read them if you need to, at some point you'll just memorize them. And so that's what I have. Like, even sometimes if I'm in bed and I'm overthinking and I can't sleep, I'll just start, I just press play and it just like, like circulates in my brain. And eventually it's like the feeling goes away and it's taken over, um, by the new message that you've put your attention on, you know, like it's really all about what you put your attention on. Definitely. Like it's, it's like, okay, it's really easy for for me to be like, oh, this was a crappy circumstance, but like, then this happens. So like I can focus on the crappy circumstance, but then what came out of it is also something I could focus on. Um, so yeah, so creating mantras, something I often tell my friends as well, if they're, you know, in, um, in a circumstance, um, is write yourself a letter, write yourself a letter in a time where you feel really good. Like it's, it's like a really high moment for yourself and, and tell yourself how incredible it feels. And, and that, you know, you've got your back and you're there and this isn't, this is just a temporary moment. It's not, doesn't define you. It's not who you are. And, um, and really like creating, like, again, like the, I am statements and, and, and then write, write it to yourself, fold it up, put it in an envelope. And then you find yourself in these moments of turmoil, read the letter again, read it to yourself and remind yourself that that's not, because again, we get caught up in the storm, but it's, it's not, it's not real. Mm. And so it feels real, but it's not real. A lot of the stories we come up with in our heads are just that they're just stories. And so if we can knock, find ways to, to, to knock ourselves out of it. Um, another thing I remember I did in a time where I was going through a difficult stage in my life. Um, one of my really great, uh, my closest girlfriends, Michelle, she, I call her my wifey. Cause like, we're just like, I got my husband and then I got my wifey. wifey. Yep, I got it. <laughs> Um, but, uh, she always, you know, if I'm kind of like in my broken record thing, she'll be like, okay, five things you're grateful for go. And I'll be like, uh, uh, and like, sometimes cause you're in it, you can't think of anything you're grateful for because everything just is, seems awful. Mm. And, and then all of a sudden I'm like, okay, well, I'm, I'm grateful for, you know, my dog. Okay. What else? Um, I'm grateful for the comfortable bed that I have. Okay. What else? And it's amazing how just saying that you've completely changed your energy. You've like washed out the dark and washed in the light. Yeah. And, and, you know, and the same thing is like having a a list. I remember with her as well, we had done a top 10 list of things that, that I really enjoyed doing. So if I find, so, and I, and I went through this for like a year where I, I struggled to, I just, I just struggled and I went to that list and okay, I don't feel well. What do I need to do to knock myself out of it? Go for a hike, listen to music, go be with company, change it up. Um, Mm. Just go for a walk, like whatever it was, write, write out my feelings and then burn the letter, you know, whatever it is. Um, I think that there's something to creating uh, a plan for yourself in, when you're in a good space so that when you're in a harder space, you can relate to that space to knock yourself out of it.